just another day of training and another day of uh, of, of doing doing what I do, uh, taking care of my dad and, and getting prepared for my fight. Well, most most of my strength started out. You originally started out with with my dad. You know, my brother and my dad and I we 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 lived together. It was just the three of us. And then uh, and then and then obviously my grandmother was a, was a big uh, big part of my life. And she she kind of she taught me how how to be a man. And uh, and just seeing her with my dad, what she did every day to take care of him, that that helped teach me to be strong and to be and to be mentally mentally tough and because she she would get up every day and, and would do it and wouldn't complain and ju just kept going every single day and, and you learn that when you see it and she she's the one who taught me how to be strong and and on the days that I think I can't do it I just think about uh, about her and and how she used to do it every day for 15 years so uh, I, I, I started to only be half as strong as she was. What, what keeps me going for, for the fighting is just, is the fact that, that that's my release from, from, the, from the daily grind here at the house. It's, uh, it's easy to keep going. It's easy to, to leave for practice and, and, and be there with my teammates and learn learn more and my my competitive drive is still as strong as, as strong as ever you know getting out of high school I wanted to wrestle and, and see what I could do and and that's that's not left me so I'm still competitive and and and, and wanting to do it as the, the best that I can and that drives me every day Physic to to physically prepare for my fight, I just um, I just I just work out as hard as hard as I can. I every every time that I go in there, I I, I go 100%. And it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's technique for boxing or it's live sparring or it's or it's conditioning. I go in and um, and I prepare as 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 hard as I can and uh, and, and don't slow down. And mentally, mentally, it's a it's a little different game. Uh, I always have to I have to tell myself it's just another fight. It's just an it's it's just another event. And uh, and and, and I, I have to I think I think about my opponent and what he's doing, and and what he's doing to prepare for me. But also, I don't I don't I don't I try not to allow myself to think too much because sometimes you can talk yourself out of psych yourself you exactly. psych yourself out. Mm -hmm. And if you if you break every part of the person's game down. Then you start worrying about too much. So, so, so sometimes I just say, you know what? I'm just gonna go in there and I'm gonna fight, and we're gonna see what happens when dust settles. And sometimes that's that's just the best way to do it to prepare mentally. You know, I've seen I've seen a lot of the different stuff that that fighters do and. I'm starting to learn that there's nothing that's way out there. You saw me push the push the prowler, and that was very hard. But a lot of but a lot of people do different things. We flipped the tire. We hit the we hit the tire with the sledgehammer. You, you when we were driving home, you noticed the the, the big hill. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't do so much hill training like that. But I know that a lot of fighters are doing doing the hill training, and uh, we have the stairs that we run up and. Uh, it, swimming, you know what? There's nothing that's way out there. If you, if you can find something that's that can push your lungs and burn your lungs and and make you f make you feel like you want to quit but you don't quit. I mean, it's out there and everybody's doing it. And I, I feel like we're just we're just staying right with everybody else doing these these crazy things. And I mean, that's the life of an athlete. This is the life of a fighter is doing those crazy things.